In 2015, Wildlife Conservation Society Canada was part of a group of biologists and statisticians from across Canada who designed the North American Bat Monitoring Program, in which a 10 km by 10 km grid cell framework was applied across US and Canada. The goal of the NABAT program is to track changes in relative abundance and species diversity over time, trends expected to be drastically influenced by bat mortalities from white nose syndrome and a myriad of other increasing and cumulative threats. NABAT depends heavily on the use of bat detectors, which record the ultrasonic signals that bats produce when they echolocate at night to navigate and find insect prey in the dark. A grid cell will be monitored each summer for at least one week using two to four stationary detectors. Generally, the microphone is boosted high up for good quality recordings. In the Bonanza Kootenai Connect corridor, two grid cells were selected for monitoring. One at Summit Lake and one inclusive of the Bonanza wetland at the top end of Spokane Lake. Five stationary detectors located at the yellow dots were deployed in June of 2020. And drawn here as a line along Wilson Creek Road is the route driven with a detector's microphone mounted on the roof of a vehicle. Driving slowly, but slightly faster than what a bat can fly, the number of bats detected along the transect provides an estimate of relative bat abundance. We are monitoring for all bat species with special emphasis on the two federally endangered myotis. Although northern myotis is known less than 60 kilometers to the north of here, no recordings of this species were made in 2020, though we did detect little brown myotis. And we detected eight other species, including the Townsend's big-eared bat. The Summit Bonanza grid cells are two of 16 NA bat cells that we monitor in the Columbia Basin, six of which are in the Kootenai Connect linkage corridors. Across British Columbia in 2020, our program included 54 grid cells thanks to multiple collaborators and partners. Our NA bat grid cells are contributing to the continental trend analyses currently underway to document the state of the bats in US and Canada as white nose syndrome continues to spread and cumulative threats continue to impact bats across the continent.